Hi, I'm Jen. I'm a Levi's tailor in California, and today I will be painting the back of a trucker jacket. I will use some acrylic paints and some markers, and I'll, I'll freehand a design based on some inspiration that I've been thinking of lately. So as this election has drawn closer, I've been very inspired by the women's suffrage movement and the various sacrifices that have been made, the people that have worked really hard to make sure that I would have the right to cast my vote for a better future for my community and my country. So what I work on today will be inspired by those sacrifices. I'll be thinking of that tireless work that was done to make sure that I would have this right. And I encourage you to make sure that you're registered and to vote your values in this upcoming election. And with that, I will start freehanding. So let's get painting. The first thing I'm going to do is gather up all my supplies. And what I'll need today is the trucker. I've chosen something that is a light wash so that it's really easy to paint on and see the saturation of the color. I have some scrap fabric as well for testing colors, for wiping off my brush as I go. I printed out a couple of inspiration images so that I can use them as I sketch on the back of the jacket. A tub of water, my paint palette with paints on it and paint brushes. And I have a Sharpie, with a thicker and a very thin side, and then I have a chalk pencil for sketching out my design. And then lastly, I have my iron and a press cloth, because those will be used to finish up my pieces when I'm done. Once I've gathered my supplies, I will transfer the image to the back of the jacket. So I'm freehanding this based on the inspiration images I have. I sketch it out first with mechanical pencil, which I can easily erase or cover as I'm going. If you're covering the entire back panel, you may want to tape off the edges, but since I'm doing a very contained artwork, I don't need to tape off anything. Once the image is transferred, I paint over the sketch and I fill in areas with fields of color. I'm not being very precise with my painting on this. I'm going more for fields of um, basic colors. So I test each color on a scrap piece as I go and then just fill in each area with the color I want. Then I outline the shapes with a marker. So I take the fine and extra fine Sharpie points to refine the lines and add some detail, make the artwork more graphic. Once I've finished with the paint and Sharpie and allowed all the extra paint to dry, I press to finish. So I set my iron on a high heat and use a press cloth and I hit each area of the garment that I've painted with the iron for about 30 seconds. And once I've pressed to finish, the garment is ready. All right, so here is the finished product and I love it. I'm very happy with how this turned out. And I think it's a great reminder to go get out and vote in November, exercise one of our most important rights. So I will be wearing this to the polls in a few weeks and I hope that you'll get out and vote also.